first learned about Visual Experience Foundation through Facebook. Mutual friends in uh, vision support groups um, were sharing information about upcoming trips, and uh, I thankfully was um, introduced to Michael Benson, who's the founder, and we became prayer partners and learned more about his outreach. From the time I first heard of the VEF, um, I was a prayer partner and uh, just supporting any way that I could um, until May of 2017 when they had uh, a hiccup in man's plan and um, God saw fit to put me in for a site trip with VEF to Niagara Falls, New York. While the Visual Experience Foundation um, has honestly an ever-changing outreach in that I, I really see God's hand moving through it to meet the needs of each individual person, um, whether they be a believer, a non-believer, agnostic, um, whatever the background, it, it constantly changes through the leading of the Holy Spirit um, to encourage, uplift, plant seeds, and sometimes just till the soil um, for the hearts that come in, as well as to um, encourage and, and, and give, um, honestly, a feeling of belonging to those who are experiencing such loss with vision loss. Um, it's, it's, it's like helping with someone mourning. So in May of 2017, uh, Michael Benson, the founder of VEF, contacted me uh, last minute to participate um, in the trip to Niagara Falls, New York. Uh, I had to step completely out of my comfort zone. I've never traveled anywhere alone, much less flown alone. Um, and so it was quite the undertaking to, to do so, to step out and uh, change planes in <laughs> major airports and uh, make it where I needed to be. Um, I was terrified, mortified, um, but I was trusting God for a good experience and had no idea really what to expect um, other than I was going to see Niagara Falls and it was going to be great. But um, once getting there and meeting um, with the team that he had put together, the chaperone and the other um, participant, um, it, it it was not anything that I, I could have planned for or expected. The fellowship, the camaraderie, the, the, the time of worship, um, as well as learning each other's strengths and weaknesses and um, just figuring out where we were in our walk in life. It, it was just absolutely amazing. Uh, I, I didn't realize how much I needed it until I returned home. Um, I have never used a cane. The other participant it was a complete, uh, completely blind, well, almost completely blind uh, participant who had been on the cane for some years, um, relied on it daily. And it was amazing to watch her in action and to um, have her train me some on the cane. Um, and in return, share with her my faith in God and um, His plan for our lives. Um, it was amazing to see how those relationships really just intertwined um, with believer and non-believer. When I went on the VEF uh, trip, it was amazing to um, to be able to share with someone who is so adamant that the darkness is wonderful, <laughs> that even in darkness, God is even better. Um, others don't understand the, the, the type of, of vision loss that, um, that, that goes along with, with the different diseases. Some of them, um, just certain areas of your vision are impacted. Um, and whereas perhaps one person can read and write effectively, um, others cannot do that. Uh, they'd have to use Braille or, or some other form of communication. Um, or someone may need to use a cane just to walk down the road, uh, whereas someone else can see to do that, but they can't see to perhaps 
mm, drive a car because they don't have the, the depth perception. And to go into those circumstances and, and to, to fight against the, the depression and the anxiety um, and, and the stigmas that go along with the eye diseases and reach the heart of the person to say, hey, you're not alone, you're, you're going to be okay, and there's still hope. God still has a plan and a purpose for our life. We may not be able to go and do this particular activity, but I can still share my faith. I can sh still share hope that regardless of that, everything that has been taken away, other things have been added to to balance it out. There, there, is, always, there is always give and take. VEF has numerous um, fundraisers, of course, GoFundMe, um, I believe uh, PayPal, just sending funds, definitely by prayer support. Um, I also believe that they are setting up um, a way to work with B Causes, um, which is a subsidiary of VEF, um, so that you can actually purchase goods and products and a portion of those goods and products that you actually get to consume, um, a, a portion of those product, uh, proceeds would go to support VEF and the site visits for other participants. I am involved with VEF because um, I have retinitis pigmentosa, which is a degeneration of the nerve cells connecting to the retina. Basically, the, the light receptors, the photoreceptors in the eyes um, begin to die off and um, it's, you slowly go blind from the outside in. You lose the peripheral vision, depth perception, and uh, all night vision, and then you slowly begin to lose your central vision. Uh, myself and my oldest son have it. Um, my mother, aunts, uncles all have it. Um, I found out about it because of that. I was, I was diagnosed in May of 2012 out of the blue. Um, however, um, at that darkest time um, for me, God began to use that for His glory because at that point He began to set the stage for me to step out and share my faith and share my journey with Him um, through, through singing and through the visual experience um, to bring others to Christ. No one's alone. Regardless of the diagnosis, regardless of the family situation, finances, regardless of anything, you're never alone. There's always hope and there's always peace and love in Christ. The VEF site experience um, was a, was a multi-day event where um, we, we stayed together in a, um, in a cabin there in New York. Um, we traveled daily to Niagara Falls. We went to different places within the falls. There, there are multiple things to see and do there behind the, uh, the Cave of the Winds, the uh, Maid of the Mist. Um, and in each, in each aspect, we learned the history. And um, Michael was teaching us um, how to use our other senses to take in the falls so that when the site, if God forbid, lets it go completely, when it is gone, then you can use other triggers to bring back the memories um, and so that you can see with your mind's eye um, where you've been, this, the way it smells, the sounds that you hear. Um, but also in doing so, um, at each point, we take turns one-on-one -on -one and, and within the group um, praying for one another, vocalizing our, our shortcomings and our, honestly, our fears, the things that, that maybe even our own family don't understand um, because they're not experiencing it. But to be able to discuss it with someone else who's experiencing it or has experienced it fully um, so that you can fully let your guard down, kind of almost like a support group. Um, and then to be able to, to share with one another, okay, when I was feeling um, worthless, um, useless, this is how I handled it. This is how, th this is what I went to, I went to the Word, I went to my prayer group at church, or I went to uh, my therapist or whatever the, uh, the case may be. This is how I've learned to, to, to 
handle it. And, and it made lifetime, um, you make lifetime um, friendships um, and relationships there that you can call on. Hey, I need prayer. I'm, I'm just, I'm having one of those days. Can you pray with me? Um, so it's, it's a wonderful, wonderful experience. Hi, I'm Pastor Chuck Reesh. I'm the executive producer at Horizon Media Studios. It's a 501c3 media ministry, and what we're doing is helping other ministries tell their story. Homeless shelters and children's homes, Bible colleges, seminaries, mission sending agencies. With your help, we can continue to help tell their story to inspire the world, to shine their light, and let God get the glory for the work that's being done in advancing the kingdom of Jesus Christ. Thanks again for praying for us.